Hey everybody, so we all saw that RuPaul Rowlet video about Sono Remix this year. Well, I'm here to talk about things I want in the game. And this video is purely meant to be a very short video to help you sandwich in between my anime review, which is coming out next week, and my uh, Pokemon versus, which I'm gonna try and do animations for now. We're just gonna be in a few spots, so you all have to see. But let's get started with the list. Number five. Okay, the following Pokemon. Yes, someone's gonna be. Okay. Reminded. Okay, following Pokemon. That's how we want. I know everyone says this and they know so I'm gonna keep it brief. Following Pokemon were a great feature in Hardcore and Soul Silver that I don't know why they didn't bring back, but I can understand why they didn't bring back that while it was the first game in the 3D. Sun and Moon maybe just didn't have enough time, so I had to cut it. Also, Sun and Moon, it wasn't really a huge treat because of it. Uh, let's go Pikachu Mini. Great, I would love to see him again. Sunny Shield, and uh, let's not talk about Sunny Shield right now because it's got a lot of tours. Anyways, um, but in Heart Gold, in the new Diamond and Pearl Remix, I actually like to see new games. And it's. Now, this is what should happen. Instead of. I think it's easy to do. But I'm saying the new developer. Instead of making the models approach the player when they see the player and they feel the vision, make the model appear behind the player and follow them. And then have it coded for certain events of them not appearing. I think that would be pretty simple to do. And it would just be oh, which Pokemon is first present in the party at the time. That's how they could code it. But that's just my idea. Listen, listen. I know this has been meant to death, but just put it back in the game. It, it would be so much fun. Number four, remix allow remixes allow to hear tracks from previous games. I remember a certain game that came out in 2009, which did this in the best way, in my opinion. Sound generations allowed us to listen to old tracks from previous games. You can probably guess what I'm asking for. Allow us to play tracks from on past games, not just in the battle menu, that, that is a good feature, but what if I want to hear the gym leader track while I'm on Route 1? So, like when we finish the game, have us get certain music tracks after we clear certain events or something, and then when we finish the game, have like certain events where like you talk to someone from home and then you get like almost all the home songs. Remixes are given, but as long as they're good and not trash, I'm completely fine with it. The signature move. In my opinion, five Pokemon should have gotten signature move, being the starters, girl chop, and luck play. Not even a starter signature move, something that should never have happened. So if they were like, so here is what I would call the move. Got a frenzy, a bond type move with the same power as earthquake and accuracy, and frenzy signature move would be blaze overdrive. This would be a flaming type move with the same kind of fire blast with a 30% chance of burning with the same accuracy. And Pomeon's next signature move would be Imperial Sabre, a skill that moves each other 30% chance to flex with the same power, along with the same power as a much of a fire blast again. Now with Guard Chomps, Rancho moves and becomes great impact as the same kind of power as the Meteor, along with the accuracy. Luxury is now Luxury is I had a hard time coming up with, but then I just called it Apex Bolt. Has a 25% chance of paralyzing and have a power of 90, along with an accuracy of 90. Number 2, the Battle Frontier. And Resort. We all know that was a disappointment that was for us, at least in my opinion, but we'll get to when I review the games. But there's not one thing I can forgive before is not including the Battle Frontier, one of the best features. I didn't even notice one season in the anime, but we don't even talk about that. We don't even talk about the shitty battle mission. Something nobody makes. And Mr. Gumbryon's video. And Mr. Umbreon, Mystic Umbreon's videos, oh my god. Where he talked about stuff that needs to return. You know what I saw? The battle front you, but you know what I didn't see? You know what I didn't see? The battle mission. Like, come on, nigga. Just add it, please. Come on. I'm gonna go mention this. Contents I like for the most part, so I would also be happy to see them again. Safari Zone, again, I, it's not super necessary, but it would be better for quality of life. Okay, now this is the final thing I want. 
allows to explore other regions. I am suggesting Nunavut is a great chance to explore an old region we haven't seen in a while. I haven't seen in a while, so Canto is off limits. I don't want to go to Galar, so Canto and Galar off limits. You could even challenge Goku to get the top of the Dragon Spiral Tower. Now that's worth 60 million to a collector's edition. I would happily pay for a chance to battle gold instead of battling red for the upkeep's time. So if we got the ability to go to Unova because Unova has really gotten my attention, but this isn't a Unova video, this is a cinema video. Anyways, that's my list of top five things that need to be in the Domino Pro Remix. If you like it, subscribe, hit that bell, all that good stuff, and Samurai out. This is the part of the video where I usually just ramble on about something. Um, so, <laughs> protest is happening in the United States. Yeah, so, um, one thing I have to say about that is all lives can't matter until black lives matter. And not only black lives, I'm talking about all minorities should have had equal rights from the start. This is not even a problem for just black people. Asian people are doing the screaming against Hispanic people. Um, South Asian people because I don't know to call them Hindi because I don't want to be offensive, but I'm gonna call them South Asians. I'm South Asian people, I'm Middle Eastern. People I already said Asian people, but a word of it. Um so yeah, we should not discriminate. All lives can't matter until black lives matter again. So I'm black, so of course I want black lives to matter. I live in Canada and I still care about this. The deaths that happened to black people from cops shouldn't have happened, and I want people to know that all, all cops are this way. So, that is a very important part because you have to remember these some of these cops who really do try to help people out and do their job. Not all cops try to kill minorities on a day by day basis. I'm not trying to cover the cops here, I'm just saying that we shouldn't just attack cops that do their job and cops that want to protest but have to support their families too. So we can't get mad at them for that either. Um, I'm just waiting for this for eight minutes. Um, I'll link some Black Lives Matter donations in the in the description below. Uh, is there anything else I need to plug? Um, no, not really. I just wanted to talk about that and how it's affecting me. Um, I watched the video of Chikini's. She came up with a couple weeks ago. I'll put it in the. I will put the card, it will be like in the end card where you'll see it and then yeah you can watch her videos there instead of my old videos um about her story and how she faced racism as a kid but enough of that yeah but otherwise yeah this is just appalling that's why um something that I've actually been doing recently is watching a lot of Power Rangers and I recently just watched Power Rangers SPD and it taught me I recently just watched Power Rangers SVD. I actually hit the stop recording button saying you guys that it taught me how the police deal with a lot of troubles. And I know this is not relative to the problem, but I recognize people should watch shows like The Boondocks. Um, Black Dynamite's more of a comedy, so I will recommend that. Boondocks, Proud Family, again. Um, I think we can all take a whole bunch watching that until the last airbender for a while because these black shows are important. Canon Busters, which is a show I don't really vibe with, so I can't really say anything about, but we should all, like, you know. Watch shows that teach a good moral lesson. Uh, a show I actually do recommend that does teach a good lesson at the same time is that um, off colored anime characters you count as black in my opinion. Uh, I'll link up the all by this world one. So like, so like Darwin from um, from Amazing with Gumball, Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. Piccolo is a real estate out there. We all know. Uh, so I'm going to end this video because this is usually 9 minutes and I'm really recording this at 2 in the morning and I want to get this up by 1 o'clock. So um, I hope you all have a nice day, Black Lives Matter, and peace.